Elemental Shaman video. Uh, today we're doing a lot more testing because I grinded out enough AP to get the Synapse Shock trait that we talked about in the last video. If you guys haven't watched it yet, um, I definitely recommend going and checking it out. We were doing raid testing the other night uh, in Old Deer for Heroic Mithrax. And I was getting some ridiculous numbers from those traits. So I highly recommend you guys checking out that video if you haven't already. It's a quick five minute video. It kind of goes into depth of what the, the trade is all about. So you guys can check it out there. I'll probably put a link to it in the description down below. But you can also check it out at the end of this video. So first things first, if you guys want to check out my live stream, twitch.tv forward slash Barack uh, where we do all these live streams. We talk about stuff with the beta, we talk about live, I answer questions, you guys can come check that out. If you're interested, the link will be in the video's description down below. So let's get into what we're talking about in this video today. Um, we're kind of just going through a dungeon to compare the damage of how much we are reliant on these traits in BFA, and if so, what our opinions are on it. So I'm here with Raiden. Uh, again, which is uh, going to be a reoccurring thing on the channel. So, we're going to be talking about exactly what I just said. But Raiden, currently, we have done the testing. We've seen a huge damage increase for Synapse Shock on our buffs. Because it's pretty much just another constant 900 intellect at level 325. Which is a lot. Yeah, it's yeah, a the lot. Amount of, the amount of intellect we get out of the trade, and we have to figure out. I think it's possible to get these trades three times, and yeah. if the numbers are staying on this high amount, it will be the trade to go. Right? You go to yeah. farm this because it it's so many intellect. It is yeah. a huge amount of intellect. It's pretty much. Every like th this this kind of like reminds me of how reliant we are on, of legendaries and that also kind of scares me though because yeah, this, trait, this is the same like situation the old, like the old tier 6 uh tier 6 bonus right it's um yeah you you will go for it and then you are totally overpowered we have we have to say it right right yeah because uh you nearly doubled your intellect that's if you have these traits three times and that's and at a really certain good. item level like the video yesterday we got an additional 2300 intellect for the yeah. for just two traits and it's a hundred percent uptime as long as you cast a chain lightning or a lightning bolt within 15 seconds of your last one and you can see okay i do want to just quickly disclose um some information quickly with uh, with this run. So this Warlock, he's a demo lock, okay? So you can see his damage here, Implosion, okay? He's a demo lock. Same item level as me. I think actually he's one item level higher. So I'm 325 item level and he's 326. He also has the same amount of traits in his weapon or in his, wow, still talking Legion, in his necklace as I do. So 11 traits. So he has his heroic, um, his, first, uh, his first trait. You can see that the damage of the overpowered, in quotations, de uh, Demonology Warlock, it's there, but in comparison to the Ellie, it's not as big as we thought it was. Especially with this trait. Like, now that we know, hey, this is what we need to be getting in order to actually do the damage. But it also doesn't leave room for a variety of things that you can do, right? It doesn't leave room for... Oh, I kind of want to play my class like this. You don't have that option. You have to go with this trait. Otherwise, you do no damage. Right. And we have to say high voltage isn't fixed right now. So High voltage isn't fixed, yeah. yeah. The AOE damage is still not... Not as good as it should be. be, yeah. And our Maelstrom generation is not as good as it should be either. So, like... I'll, show, I'll quickly show the talents that I'm currently running as well. So Echo the Elements because honestly it should be baseline at this point. It's just it's needed 100%. I don't want to go into Elemental Blast because I don't have Maelstrom Generation and Exposed Elements just got nerfed. We didn't even use it anyway. So 
Uh, total mastery, high voltage, like we just talked about, isn't fixed yet. So we're kind of just looking into the current situation where... Oh, shit. Three, one. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> we, uh, yeah. We're not quite at what we should be yet. And Twitch chat, just give me one moment here while we do this boss and we talk about this stuff. So... This is a temporary, obviously, like, situation where high voltage is still bugged. It's still sending out... Lightning bolt um, overloads instead of chain lightning overloads. Yeah, exactly. It's still sending out lightning bolt overloads when it should be sending out chain lightning overloads. So with that in mind, like, our situation is probably going to get even better as we move on. And as uh, more, more builds come out on the beta... So, I'm just going to catch up on Twitch chat here. Uh, I'm tired of not having beta access. F yeah, got some hairstyle going. Hard style? Are we talking... Uh, what kind of hard style are we talking? I don't know. How is Shadow Priest damage so far? I have not been able to actually look up Shadow Priest damage. Because I've been busy grinding my face off for the last three days. For uh, getting this Synapse Shock trait. Yeah, we're actually fully focused on shamans right now. So. Yeah, we're fully focused on shamans right now. We're not doing any other content. Like, this is a shaman channel, so unfortunately, that's just how it is. Vice grips. Okay, so we didn't get anything good. So you can see, actually, that we're doing a decent amount of damage for single target. Of course, demonology is still a powerhouse, but I was able to do more damage than the rep paladin. And not a lot of people are complaining about rep paladin that I know of. I'm not saying that it's not happening. I just... I am saying that I don't know of any complaints so far for Red Paladin. I'm sure there are some because anime hair and ADD, bro. But anyway, um, we digress from that situation. What are things that we still find are an issue with the Shaman as far as like... I guess an updated situation. Our AoE is still kind of um, lackluster. Especially coming from an expansion where we were we were so damn good at AoE. Um, it just kind of feels like it's just not as good anymore. And our Maelstrom generation during a AoE is like, it's really reliant on stats and gear. Uh, and hopefully when high voltage gets fixed, that as well, right? So... May I say one thing? I really hate the cast animation. Uh, for what? Cast animation for what? So this is a discussion video. I am including Twitch, Twitch chat in this. I'm going to start using Earthquake a little bit more because I actually have a little bit better Maelstrom generation. Unless, like, I'm just... Yeah, so you pointed out the one big issue in AOE we actually have. Earthquake is not really viable. Yeah. I mean, it, it has a huge build-up to it. This is this has been a huge discussion before, though, too. Where, like, Earthquake's not as viable as just using the Maelstrom on Earthshock, especially in, like, four-target situations where the build-up of Earthquake is just... It's so bad. Like, it's so bad, it's annoying to see it. I just don't want to see it. Like, yep. three target what situations, we find ourselves just like using flame shock on all the targets as we can, and then just spamming chain lightning, and then using earth shock when we have enough maelstrom for it. Maybe using lava burst as well on lava surge uh, casts or lava surge procs. Shit. Well, what but. I wanted to say, we still have no idea how our maelstrom generation will be if high voltage gets fixed because yeah. we don't know how much the maelstrom generation get reduced right so if there is no reduction from the second overload because it's it's just double rolled then we are probably getting pretty fast on our cap right yeah but at the same time like that doesn't that doesn't bring to the table any, like, 
fancy builds or like t talent build um, variations or, or like uh, room yeah, for anything still, else. Still You're still in a cookie cutter build. Focus, focus to this build, right? Which is not what we're coming from an expansion where we have like four different builds that we can choose from and then they're all viable, right? And it's like, and then we come to the, to be, oh my God. We come to BFA and we're like, okay, you're forced into this one build. Good luck. Like, we still, we know, we know Blizzard isn't done yet. Yeah. We know for a fact they're going at one class at a time, but like, it's important to have these discussions so that it stays relevant. The topic doesn't get lost in, in, in the huge outcry of every class. So my advice to you guys who are watching this video um, or watching the stream right now, take to the forums, but post on the forums that are already active. There is too many spread out discussions for this topic. Everybody is talking about the same things, the same fundamental issues for Shaman, but they're doing it on their own posts because they want recognition because they want the idea. It's like, it doesn't, that doesn't help anything. Me and Raiden did one post together um, because nobody had talked about the issues yet. We also put that information in its in a reoccurring post as well. So, if you're going to take to the forums, post on active topics like mine and Raiden's on the BFA beta uh, class bugs and issues, or even uh, on the live uh, class, or even on the live class. I think the beta ones are a lot more active though. It's a lot more. Um, yeah, we still have the problem that people without uh, without able to play beta can't post in the beta forums, right? So yeah, so that's why we also not... did a live live uh, one. Yes. And it's pretty important, even if you just go and write and push or um, and confirmed or something like, yeah, I feel like you. It helps. Or I feel the same you... way, or like these these uh, points that were touched upon by the original poster or like other people or quoting people. As long as Blizzard... Around... Go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, we need around 150 um, answers before we probably get in blue post, right? Yeah. So if you post that... on the same forum and we get a number of comments on it, I, it looks like, yeah, what Raiden said, it's just like around 150 to 180 uh, posts on one topic then you get like an actual blizzard response so or if it's actually like a really big issue and blizzard knows it's an issue and then but as far as like class discussions go that looks to be the sweet spot for beta so just do it as shia labeouf would say get on the forums do you find it easier to play Elemental since Blizzard finally trimmed off the Gust of Wind talent? No, I think it's fucking dumb. <laughs> we have huge PvP options. I die every time in the in the world, and that's not because I'm fucking bad, okay? I've made it to 2100 for multiple seasons. Yeah, uh, as we talked before, the mobility is still a huge issue, right? Even yeah, mobility is an issue. What, oh, we're not going to talk about um, a bunch of fundamental issues that we've already been discussing in the past. I really just want to focus on, in this video, why or like what it stands uh, for our uh, our Azerite traits compared yeah. to other classes. That's kind of like the topic of this video. That's that's what I want to be discussing. Discussing? Discussing. Like, yeah. It seems like we have this one really huge trait. So... It feels like we have to farm not only the Azeroth power, it seems like we have to farm multiple pieces to get uh, this trade because the trades are not all the same on the uh, pieces of items, right? Exactly. Buckeye's and... just trolling, Birdie, by the way. Buckeye's just a big troll. Um, I'm going to put it into perspective with you guys. Uh, it took me three days to farm enough Azerite power to get this one trait. Of course, when Mythic Plus is going to be a thing, you can probably farm it up in one day. But I was limited to world quests, okay? And world quests are obviously on a timer. So it took me three days to get enough Azerite to get this one trait. 
Anyway, I think it was like uh, 11,800 artifact power. I'm now, to get to my next trade, it's 24,440. I'm not dedicating that much time for that. So, hell no. I've put in my time on the beta. I don't want to burn myself out. Yeah, we did this all to, to make Grella illegrate, right? We don't want another... Yeah, losing tier run rates, right? Yeah. We want to be important from the start. So, if Blizzard will let us these heavy trades, we getting forced into the build we actually playing, and we will to get forced to hard grind before tier uh, one rate is open to right? Yeah, I mean, like, we're going to be forced to hard grind. I don't think we're going to be as bad um in legion starting out with the first uh tier like i don't think that's gonna happen again thankfully because it looks like we're not too bad as long as we have the azurite traits and by the first raid tier if it comes out you're gonna have the first azurite traits like that's gonna be a thing you're gonna have mythic level dungeon gear you're gonna have the azurite traits from those mythic level dungeon uh azurite armors so it's just a matter of how dependent we are on those traits and what blizzard's gonna do to either fix that or nerf it they're probably gonna nerf synapse shock honestly it's really strong like 100 percent uptime on this and i have an additional 890 intellect by doing nothing but casting by doing my rotation like surely they won't take it away gust of wind oh they already did it's almost uh, four, item, four items worth the intellect. Yeah, it's almost four items. It's it's more intellect than the piece, than the armor piece that it gives me. Like more intellect than the, the mythic level chess piece that I have. Four hundred eleven intellect. Like it's massive. Imagine if I had three of these traits, and that's just at three twenty five. That's at a heroic item level. So I mean, if you guys haven't seen the synapse shock five minute video that i put out yesterday um go and check it out i was having uh, how much extra intellect did i have 2300 and something for just two traits obviously that's it was two nearly 2600 1300 only one trait. that was on the mythic level but this was heroic yeah but all, everything get upgraded on uh, mythic right yeah the fuzzy bear thanks for the follow Ooh, this is a good time to cast Earthquake, I think. Let's see if it is. Of course, demo, demo Lock is doing ridiculous amounts of damage. Yeah, it seems like he's pretty strong in AoE, right? Because well, of course. Implosion is, is bugged, apparently, right now, and it's doing, like, ridiculous amounts of damage. Yeah, but even with not uh, fixed high voltage, you are pretty good in your damage. Yeah, I mean, if high voltage was fixed, it would be a huge difference in AoE. Huge. Birdie TM, thank you very much for the follow. Um, so, yeah, I think the discussion is pretty set here that we're very reliant on these traits in order to do the damage. And Thanks I guess much, going from one of the worst classes on beta to comparing you to the best class on beta let's look back at as a rock point operated like it's definitely something to it's not something to scoff at is what i'm saying like yeah that's also maybe a reason we didn't get any fixes right now because yeah. Blizzard had already the information how we scaling with signups, right? So that's probably the reason we didn't get any changes at Charlie. And I mean like maybe my examples aren't that great and it's not relatable because I I am a per I am a player that is of the top tier. Okay? Um So you're getting information by one from one of the uh, top Ellie Shamans. So it's like, it's a little skewed, 
I understand that. The average player isn't going to be worried about this kind of stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, but I, it's still kind of important to talk about because, okay, if Blizzard... If Blizzard's intention is to have us scale ridiculously with this one specific Azerite trait, they're digging themselves a hole. And we've talked about this uh, a little bit earlier today, but that's not okay. That is not okay. I don't like that at all. You're, you're literally pigeonholing us into a specific trait that is the best one. That's like saying, oh, here's a bunch of other legendaries that could be used in the same situation. That's like comparing the Smoldering Heart Gloves to the to the pristine Protoscale Girdle Belt. Yeah, they are not only digging a hole, they even flooded with shit, right? <laughs> yeah, they... F <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, you have to tell it like this, because you, could, you can remove our entire ability uh, be, be, uh, beside the Cookie Cutter Belt, because we are forced so heavily into this build. Yeah. Oh, I'm Bar. actually download in-game data. I mean, there are some hotfix. I will check these out. But yeah, my worry stands the same. Like, I think I went up 1,000 extra damage from this trade, at least. At least, yeah, I went up an extra 1,000. Uh, Light, Th Light Thunder says, uh, your perspective is still very valuable. We don't want to be overpowered, but vi viable in Mythic Raid scenarios. I agree, and, and thank you for that comment. I appreciate it. Um, yeah. I don't want us to be overpowered either, because that makes us the flavor of the month. That sucks. I don't want to be the flavor of the month. I want to be a, a spec that people can... I guess look at and then not laugh because that's the situation that's what the situation has been for the last two expansions it took an entire expansion for the community to accept elemental shaman as a viable spec it took the whole of legion and then everywhere i went any group that i was in they were like i don't know man i, I don't want to invite you because you're an ellie shaman for Mythic Plus, you couldn't do a fifth a, a 15 plus. Even if you had higher item level than the party leader, you couldn't do a level 15 plus because you were an Ellie Shaman. And then once they did invite you and they were like, oh, okay, so this is this is actually like an Ellie Shaman that knows what he's doing. It's like that's that's a that's a um what's the word I'm looking for? A severe case, I guess. Like you're getting a, an example of an Ellie Shaman for for a top tier high, uh, end game mythic raider Ellie Shaman instead of just like the normal Ellie Shaman. Yeah, so I it's... get pretty often I get pretty often declined about rumors alias bad, uh, bad at all. So and you still get declined. You still get declined, even yeah, though we're in the still... we're in the the last stages of of legion right of so legion I'm, you're still getting declined from mythic plus because and if i'm able to arguing me in these then i actually ended mostly on uh, on first place in damage right so even um i say mythic raid guilds with um with at least eight from 11 down they're actually surprised about oh wait elemental can do damage what the elemental fuck? can do damage what <laughs> Where'd all yeah. the ads go? They were just where's, here. Where, where's the, the South Mamer with, hey, Baraku's still alive, and he's top damage. <laughs> and he's top damage, yeah. My my little right, sub right, sound right. says it all. When Asmogold says, hey, what? What? Baraku Shama lived. He's also our top damage. Let's go. Yeah, that's, that's actually. Fucking Shaman. Yeah. That's literally that's everybody's, cool. that's, that's everybody's um, reaction to a shaman that knows what they're doing or to a shaman that's like been through a whole expansion of dog shit and now they're finally viable um so the perspective is there but it's going to continue to be there if blizzard makes decisions like this to completely rely the class on an azurite trait where you go the first part of the expansion you go the first initial like month of the expansion where you have to grind up gear 
and you have that perspective again. Because nobody's gonna invite you to dungeons because everybody knows that you're shit until you get gear or until you get enough Azerite power. Yeah, I, I still have to con confirm it's it's getting better, right? The high mythic plus groups know Ela do a shit ton of damage. But yeah, but like you're still not gonna invite armor. them because they can't survive. Right, that that's a problem. I think below uh, mythic plus twenty, you are probably one of the best uh, DPS actually for mythic plus, right? Because one hundred percent. You bring out a lot of utility with the stun, the knockback from the uh, summer, right? And yeah, actually, I think there's nothing compared with our AOE burst uh, on live, right? Yeah. So we have some of the best AOE burst in the game, and then we're going in, we're going into BFA with the worst buildup for your AOE, unless you just cast Chain Lightning, and that's all you do, and then you're like, oh, okay. And that's that, uh, but that needed around what one year until people uh, confirmed. Okay, maybe it is worth. To do maybe it, it, right? yeah, you, no, it was more than a year. To get up to and towards the burning throne, we had Emerald Nightmare. We had um, what was the 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 middle raid? Uh, Nighthold. No, not Nighthold. The one before Nighthold. It was a small raid. Trial. Ah, trial yeah, of... Right, trial. Right yeah, we had Trial, TOV, um, Trial of Valor. Uh, we were okay in Trial of Valor. Like, we had a little bit of good damage. Um, and then Nighthold came out, and it was just like, okay, all right. They kind of fixed us a little bit, but then they adjusted us, like, four times within that one tier. Because our our tier set was just too strong. We, were, we could get out, like, six Fire Elementals. Um, <laughs> if the situation was right. <laughs> oh, Halls of Valor. Okay. Is it HOV? I, th I thought it was TOV. Um, anyway. And then, Tuma Sargeras came out, and it was, like, a little bit better again. And then, finally, Antorus the Burning Throne came out, and there was, like, five AoE boss fights. Um, and you were, like, what? Look, actually middle of the pack because the entire raid out of the entire raid you actually did a good amount of of help you were a viable spec to bring of course people still class stacked for um shit i don't want to get hit by a mine no oh the damn wall um you still class stacked for uh world first race of course oh my god oh my god yeah Almost 60 Ks in uh, blood decays in every raid, right? <laughs> yeah, um, all the blood decays. Uh, I'm away from everybody, so I'll be fine here. Yeah, it was kind of kind of annoying, right? So it was very annoying. And then you, and then you, it's just like BFA is a reset. You go right back down to the Emerald Nightmare looking scenario, and like people don't want that. People don't fucking want that at all. It's ridiculous. So, look, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna always like talk about the issues for Ellie Shaman. Um, I've been playing one for since late Cataclysm. I think I started playing Ellie Shaman. Mr. Pandaria came out and then I started maining Ellie Shaman. And then I started to actually get really serious about it come Legion. So I've had I've had my time with it. Um, but I'm gonna also sit here and tell you like look, even though we're like in a really shitty spot right now, there's tons of time on the beta for things to get fixed. There is tons of time for Blizzard to come around and say, okay, hey, like now we can focus on the fundamental issues for this class. We'll fix it. Because there is, like I said, it looks like they're just going from one class to another based off of community shrill scale. Hey, we should never forget it's Blizzard. Like, um, they, they do an 
to end game for seven years and say, no, it's not good enough. Let's let's delete it, right? <laughs> yeah. Like we're so, coming from the the part of of the expansion in Legion where Shaman is really, really fun to play, but it still has some big issues. It's damage variance. Like, I'm not telling you, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that um, Legion Shaman is fucking amazing, because it's not. Its damage variance is massive. I think it's one of the worst in the game, right next to Outlaw Rogue and um, Survivabil Survival Hunter. It's fucking bad. It's terrible, and the only reason it's good is because it's big procs are what keep it alive, or what keep it doing damage, because if you go an entire fight without procs, you, you're literally doing no damage. Yeah, actually, if you watch the, I think, top 10 in all locks, uh, and watch on the hour, you will see there are around 2 or 3 minutes of uh, um, ascendance, right? Yeah. So there are a huge amount of. Uh, it's a huge spec. amount of RNG that you're getting from this one spec. And I guess that RNG is fun uh, when it actually happens, but at the same time, it's like, it's not a good class. It's, it's not a top tier class. It has the potential to be really strong in fights, and you can do more damage than the rest of your guild, but that's only because you got good procs. That's not because of. The damage output of the class is really, really good with the skill ceiling. Like, some portions of the class can be really, really strong and require a lot of skill, like Frostquake. Uh, one of the builds that I have recently started representing uh, and spreading the word about, it's extremely difficult to play and it has a high skill cap and it has a lower damage variance than the regular casino gamble build that you get with Ascendance Boots and Gloves. Um, but it's very difficult to play. That still brings me the point to to say that, yeah, Ellie Shaman is not a good class right now on Legion because of those issues. Nice, I got the shoulders. Um, and I understand. Need that, Mace. And I understand why Blizzard is changing Shaman because... They recognize that that is an issue. They don't want the class to be behind this RNG wall. And I understand yeah. why they're doing these. And I you don't think the community the, does. You could see on the defense, on the huge amount of defense we uh, get in DFA, they really targeted our issues, right? Yeah, they really targeted our survivability issues, which I can definitely appreciate. I know we we shouted Blizzard out for that, and we we definitely commended them for doing that in our, in our posts on the forums. Uh, and I'm so, going to tell, say this again. Give me one second, Raiden. I'm going to say this again. If you guys have an opinion about um, the issues that we're experiencing in BFA beta, that's fantastic. Put it on the forum posts. because, And put it on the forum posts that are actually active and have high amounts of comments on them. Because opening up a new forum post is not helping anybody. And I'm going to say this again. Me and Raiden did it because fundamental issues is a different topic than feedback. And our fundamental issues post has gotten a crazy amount of comments on it since the time that it's been up. Yeah. Um, there was also no post out who was targeting the issues uh, so deep in details. Uh, like yeah, so deep in detail like we did. But we did we did post our post in the feedback forum discussion for Elemental Shaman. So if you have an opinion, go to the forums, post on an active feed what your opinion is. I'm down. Yeah, all, the, so. all the who pre talking doesn't count anymore since uh, there are no real who pre abilities. Uh, I, I would tell it since Ayla lost. Healing rain and chain, chain heal, right? That that's not a real hybrid. We, we have some self heal, and maybe some other heal with healing search, but it's not really viable. So you can count out it like Ela shouldn't do as much damage as in Warlock because he's hybrid. 
yeah. I think this appeared from a warlock is higher than this appeared from an from an elemental, right? Yeah, but like the game isn't there anymore. It's a different game from when hybrids yeah, yeah. specifically targeted, did less damage. I talked because about, it was a hybrid. Uh, Will Powers. Uh, I saw the discussion in the forums, right? Yeah. Hybrid elegant here like a real deal, right? I just replied to this comment from the chat. Um, I do want to catch up on the Twitch chat before we end this video, though. Time to become Warlock Obama. To be loved again. I don't want... No. Okay, first of all, the name of my Warlock is Barack No Shama. Not Warlock Obama. So, case closed with that. But you're a hybrid not supposed to doubt DPS, pure DPS. Every piercing DPS ever. Oh, that's what you're saying? Every, every pure DPS class says that? I mean, like, like we just said, yeah, the game's no longer in that position. The game is no longer has that mindset. Um, but we digress from that topic because we just covered it. Uh, hey, but Shaman was always flawed, and even if Blizz acknowledges it, they won't do as much about it. Yeah, but we won't change this. We would, That's what we're trying to do, though. We're trying to change it. We're trying to get the community to outcry so that they will change it. Like, instead of having that negative opinion that, oh, they're never going to fix it because that's what they've been doing in the past three expansions, how about you put that energy, that negative energy, towards something that's constructive? You put that negative energy into a forum post. That's a lot more beneficial to, our, to the cause and to the idea than just having a negative attitude towards it and doing nothing about it. Um, especially on the enhancement, Shaman, you could see what a huge uh, wave of crying uh, could do. Because yeah. they get pushed way over the top, right? Yeah. But it's like, only it... because there was... I, I think on US there was some forums post with at least 500 answers on it, right? Or yeah. 500 push voting. So Blizzard had to do something about it because everyone was um, yeah, informed about it, right? Yeah, and they like that's what happens if if people outcry and people care about the situation, then Blizzard does something. But if you have that attitude like, oh, they're not going to do anything, so I'm just not going to say anything about it, then they're not going to do anything about it because they don't know. Don't rely on lore to sometimes play a shaman the other day. And be like, okay, so in my experience, this is fine. That's one person. He, is, he has his own opinion about it. Like, yes, Lore has a huge community um, involvement. And, and he sees what people are talking about. So if you can change Lore's mind, you can probably change the dev's mind. I was playing on my shaman the other day and, and really thought about this interesting thing that... Uh, well, shamans are actually really outcrying about this situation. Maybe we should do something about it. There was a viable build for Legion beginners, but even that Blizzard nerfed. Uh, leggy shoes plus shoulders. I do remember that. That was back in Emerald Nightmare, and I didn't. I wasn't able to actually play that build until like the the week before the newest raid yeah, came out. But here was a huge RNG thing because get these two legendaries on the first raid here that was pure luck right yeah that was pure luck and it's like it's not it's not like that anymore blizzard is moving shaman away from rng and more into uh gear reliance and and skill play and stuff like that they haven't perfected it yet it still needs to be uh tweaked so give it some time um, but until that happens, your opinion matters, and we want your opinion to be said, and we want your opinion to be posted on the forums, so do so. Um, By the way, uh, we don't tell you you have to post it only if you are uh, in an our, Ellie Shaman. On, on our side. You can yeah. do it even if you uh, don't agree with us. Just go ahead, post it in the forum. We want these discussions. If you say, it's totally fine, I like how it actually is, then that's your opinion. But please, spread your opinion in our post, so Blizzard can see it, that people are thinking about it, right? 
Exactly, yeah. And I'm and what Raiden said, I'm gonna just tweak upon real quick. Um, the forum posts that you should be posting on are one, the original poster's name is Lava Llama. So look for that one. It says Elemental Shaman Feedback on the BFA forums, okay, for class uh, class discussion and, and bugs. And uh, also, uh, Elemental Shaman Fundamental Issues. Uh, on the EU forums, Raiden posted this, and on the US forums, I made a post about this. Uh, we credit fully, though, that uh, some of the discussions in our posts were, were were kind of touched upon in Lava Llama's original post, but we've also posted in there our ideas and our uh, concerns as well. But we want you guys to be posting in one place, or, or two, depending on which post you go after. But making another forum post um, is, not, is not a good idea. And the main reason because we did a new one was there were no solutions on Lava Lamas. Well, yeah, right? there was no solutions and it was a also it wasn't a very big um, discussion at the time. So we were like, okay. But since then, since we did our post, it's definitely grown and I kind of wish at this point that we didn't maybe make our own forum post. But um, it's still gaining traction. Both of them are still gaining a lot of traction every day. So, talking about what this original uh, discussion video was about was, was our reliance on Azerite trait based on testings that we've done on the beta. Um, and it kind of got a little bit off topic, but I do want to just say that, hey, we've definitely covered a lot of issues in this video. Um, namely, the evolution of what Blizzard's direction for the class is when it comes to what our reliances on how to do the damage so it looks like azurite armor is going to be the big ticket for that right so if you guys have an opinion on that like we said go into the forums talk about it don't stay quiet mastery was totally garbage in emerald nightmare it is it was it was but that's only because of the situation with what legendaries were best and what talents were really best and um, us not having maelstrom issues at the time as well and since we're going into an expansion where maelstrom is definitely an issue mastery becomes a lot more uh viable viable yeah Three, two, one. yeah even with the new talent you have to figure out the unlimited power right because yeah. this made the huge difference uh, uh, between mastery is useful and mastery is not useful, right? Of course. Without these talent, it would make no sense to hard stacking mastery. Because unlimited power gives you extra haste. We're literally just overloading. And you can see here on the damage meter, our powerhouse friend over here, the demo log, is doing ridiculous amounts of damage, but I'm still doing more damage than the Fire Mage, which is good. I mean, that means our single target is doing something right. Yeah. But I'm also getting an additional uh, almost 900 intellect just from this one trait. Just from this one synapse trait. So keep that in mind. Okay, so this is actually where I'm going to end the video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to catch more Elemental Shaman content, do subscribe to the channel. Like it if you like the video. Uh, and if you also want to check out my Twitter and... Ooh, ooh, ooh. You need ring? Um, if you want to check out my Twitter and Instagram and social medias, down in the description of the video below as well as my live stream twitch.tv forward slash brockershama where we mentioned before we do all the live content come here ask your questions follow the stream um subscribe to the channel if you want as well to support the content that we put out but until next time guys keep calm and maelstrom on <laughs>